Oh, hello, my friends, and welcome to my studio. I'm Vlad Duchev, and uh, today we're going to talk about brushes. Uh, what are the best uh, brushes uh, for you? If you start painting, you learn how to paint, or you're in the middle of your journey, or the, at the start, or maybe you're already advanced, but you're struggling with you know, the brushes. What are the best brushes for, for you? Right? What's the best bra uh, brand and kind of brushes? So we're going to talk about this today. Again, this will be shared um, uh, episode, uh, but I'm not going to rush through. I will take I will take time to you know to explain the philosophy behind behind the brushes, and, and I think this will be uh, the philosophy not only behind the brushes, best brushes, but the philosophy of. Um, best brand of oil paints, uh, best you know, or acrylic uh, philosophy of best uh, canvases, and so on and so on and so on. So uh, let's talk about this, right? So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so uh, best brushes. As you can see, I have I have a lot of brushes. I have a you know, pile of brushes right here, three um, different cans or can, can, I mean containers of brushes. I have short um, handle, long handles, flats, filberts, and so on and so on and so on. I'm not going to, and actually another thing, another uh, containers right there. So I have a total of about... Uh, <laughs> So I just actually stopped the video and uh, and I count how many brushes they have and I count about 300, I think it's 305 or 310 around that. Um, so it's a lot of brushes. I'm actually surprised uh, myself. Uh, those brushes are, you know, I'm not really using them. Sometimes I'm pulling, uh, I just pull, you know, for example, I pull this brush, a uh, big brush, and this is uh, cheap. Artist loved fire, fire and Z, fire and Z, uh, flat, uh, synthetic kind of filber. Um, so I pulled, <laughs> I pulled from that pile, and I'm going to about to use it. I just bought bought another a brush. Uh, it's Creative Mark, made in Germany, muscle brush, uh, angler. Um, I think it's two inches. Yeah, two inches for a big. Um, Painting, so I'm gonna probably cut the handle because I really enjoy right now uh, like a short handles. But um, why I have so many brushes and do I use them? Uh, uh, and what are the brands and are those brands the best brands that I have? Okay, so why I have those brushes? I'm making mistakes, same as you make mistakes. You just buy brushes just to test it and. They're not, I'm not satisfied, so I put them aside. Or sometimes I, I, I you know, uh, buy a brush because I think, oh, this, this is, this is the brush. This is the brush that I needed, so my painting will go. Ooh. And you know what? I do this mistakes over and over and over and over again. So, do I use them all? No. Um, as I said, why do I have you now so, so many making mistakes and um, are they the best brands? Yes and no. I have a brands that, for example, uh, I have this brush, small brush, that cost almost $15. It's a Rosemary uh, Masterclass, right? Uh, Sometimes I'm using it. And I have this brush. This is what's a Blick, a golden Teflon, uh, which costs dollar, one dollar or dollar fifty. And I use them. Uh, two different brands, high-end, low-end, or whatever, different prices. Um, but I think the main question, uh, main question will be what uh, what brush to to buy, right? What brand and brush? So uh, let's step back a little bit and uh, ask question. Actually, ask question. Yeah, let's let's ask ask a question. What is the most um, often question that 
I mean, artists ask um, all the time, you know, on a workshop or during the workshop, oh, what, bra what brands of the brush are you using? And you know, when people, you know, ask this question, I have a hesitation to, you know, I hesitate to answer it like, hey, this is, you know, this is this, 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 this and blah, 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 just name it. I normally start with like, it really does not matter what brushes I'm using because uh, the brushes that I'm using, I'm selecting from all my, th almost 300 or actually over 300 uh, uh, brushes that I have in my studio. I'm selecting for, and I will explain me for what. So, um, as you know, there is synthetic brushes, there are, you know, uh, natural hair brushes, uh, there are flats, filbers, uh, filberts, uh, angler, you know, rounds, you know, of, uh, there's a bright, and I'm not going to name all of them. Uh, it's really uh, doesn't matter, and I won't be able to tell you of what brand and what brush is the best. But I can tell you one thing. The best brush for you is, is, is not the most expensive brush, that's for sure. Uh, the best brush for you is not just one kind, flat or filber, uh, uh, only because your instructor is using it. So philosophy of the best brand and best brush for you is very simple. The brush that will give you the freedom or the sense of more free, uh, you know, surfing on the canvas load. Yes, of course, there is there is the technical stuff and we'll, I'll, I'll touch you know, that stuff as well. But I think the, ma the most important is you need to find a brush that works just for you, all right? For example, if you if you are the oil painter, right? You paint oil and you paint um, plein air. Your selection would be, in my opinion, that works for me. It not necessarily will work for you, but it would work for me. I have a bristle brush or synthetic kind of hard brush just for first underpainting if I'm using my underpainting in oil. And then I have a soft brushes. And the soft brushes, again, it all depends on you. You can use natural hair, which is right now very expensive and you don't want to kill those animals, or use synthetic, right? Like, for example, the brush I'm using right now, like most, <laughs> like exclusively, uh, is this cheap $1 brush. It's a very soft brush. When you're dipping into oil, you cannot even lift the oil you have to kind of you know load the brush with the medium uh, and but this is the brush i'm using right now um let's say three months ago i was using uh, eclipse brushes exclusively by rosemary because i thought this is you know they're giving me that sense right now three months pass i tried this and i just kind of grow to something different in style and those are the brushes that I'm using right now. So my point is uh, you have to find the brushes that works just for you. Now, technical base, let's touch that base. Uh, you need to brush that holds. Um, actually, you know what? I cannot say, you know, because a lot of in the schools, they will tell you, oh, you have to this brush because it's, it's loading a lot of oil and it holds a lot and release it, you know, much easier. But what if your style is, you don't want to load a lot? What if you don't want to release a lot? Maybe you're just scrubbing, you know, that's your style. It all depends on your style, how you paint and how you feel that brush in your hand. The, uh, I can tell you what is not your brush. When you paint and you feel that, that you know, like a kind of, it's not you that painting, that you, you're just struggling with this brush, just throw it away. You know, take another brush. Um, you have to feel that you know good about that brush. Uh, and when you set, when you find those good brushes, set of good brushes, you will stick and you will paint. It's not necessarily you're gonna paint them for years and years and years. <laughs> You'll be changing brushes because 
your paintings are evolving and you know it's changing the style is changing adding you know removing something into so that's why i have so many brushes that's why you know a lot of artists they have piles of brushes because it's you're constantly moving and changing uh same with the brand what is the best brand oh there is no best brand i, I can tell you one thing the most expensive brush is not the best brush that's for sure you know rosemary is exceptional <laughs> um but they're not that expensive um so the reason i have so many brushes because i'm just buying and testing 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 and sometimes i'm using pulling and using and uh, sometimes i set to one set uh, i mean i'm using one set and i'm using for a couple of months and then suddenly i would just you know go to the store and wow you know i touch it or i surf you know online and just this is how i got this brush uh, this big brush i have not tested yet i want to test it how it's gonna you know behave on the canvas maybe i will try it and just throw it and say you know what i'm gonna use it for when i'm gonna paint my my bedroom uh, or just the walls <laughs> that'll be funny expensive brush to paint the walls right so my point so my point the best brush uh, and the best brand is um what you like what you you know you have a feeling to that brush uh when you paint you're just enjoying the painting the, pro the process of painting that is the best brush for you very simple very very simple so i know it's kind of disappointing uh you probably was waiting for me to say oh you know this brand and this kind of brush like you know, filbert or flat is the best no it's all depends on what you paint um if you need you know sharp edges or soft edges or you need to lift the uh, you know previous coat or you need to put on top it's all depends it's all depends how to use brush it's a, it's a different story uh because you can use you know different brushes for different purposes for example if you're finishing up and you want something very very soft to make sure you're not lifting up your previous coat so you will take something like um something like even like teflon like this uh this is by rosemary uh series 303 it's a teflon uh, they call it red teflon i think actually it says her here no this is only a series 303 303 so but it's very it's very very soft uh, brush so it's really hard to take load it but when you're gonna paint it's not going to uh you know because it's a very soft you're not gonna lift the you know even fresh coat so that's how to properly use the brushes or when you're starting um or something like this even uh this is eclipse um angler as well uh, as you can see it. Uh, i'm using it a lot a lot of time just to if i need something out of shape so it's not like flat or filbert i can use like this and then turn it and you can probably see so something like this and churn it and then boom not all the time and i see i have seen you know artists using it like drawing sketching on on the canvas before start painting or in the underpainting with a soft brush like you know that's another thing uh what kind of underpainting you do i do underpainting with something like you know something like this it's a uh, silver uh oval 54 3 series um so it's a bristle and it's a very very you know you you scrubbing so you're not gonna leave heavy duty um coat because you know normally um Put a lot of uh, uh, galcat to make sure it's drying fast. If I'm doing an oil, uh, if you're doing an acrylic, it's a completely different story. So you have to get acrylic brushes, soft brushes. So I hope you uh, you get the you kind of get the point. Um, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. If, you know you were waiting for <laughs> the brand, um, but I can I can probably I can talk about brand. There is some some brand that I'm buying. Uh, there's a tons of other, you know, many, many of other brands, but if you look at my studio, I have 
I have silver, uh, I have creative mark, I have rosemary, and I have I have bleak. Um, I have bleak with like this is a green uh, ring, and this is series two thirty nine R, which is round, but it's two thirty nine Utrecht, actually not bleak. It's the same company, and um, and that's it basically. And I have like brushes like this from you know from Home Depot. And I love these brushes for if I'm doing underpainting and I don't, I don't really don't want the sharp edges like a drawing. I want just just the silhouette of what I'm painting. I'm using this. This is this is you know something like this. You know, you you just put like and you're doing drawing like this. Uh, so it's not really putting sharp edges. So I'm using this a lot. Um, Oh, I have another brush that I'm using, um, and this is actually this is the only brush that I have from um, Skoda. So it's uh, number tw number twelve uh, bristle brush as well. So this is for underpainting. Uh, one of the best brush from painting because it's a fat, as you can see, it's a fat, and um, it loads a lot of oil and when you start moving you know on your canvas it's just actually you know just dip it and you just you can start making the marks um faster and it just don't leave those you know sharp lines just silhouette now why i like this because that's my you know kind of style of painting you can try this and you may, you may find this like, mm, this is not for me. How to test it? There's only one way to test it, just just to buy it and see if this will work. Um, I can tell you one thing from all this, you know, brushes that I have, I probably use them periodically, probably all of them. Um, yeah, you know, it depends on the painting. So my main point is there is no just best magical brush for you to advance in the painting. See, the only way to advance as oil or acrylic or watercolor artist is just one thing, and it's daily painting. Daily painting, you have to paint, paint, and paint. Um, what I would uh, recommend investing into, maybe, maybe 10, 20 brushes, different brushes, but invest into canvases and to oil. Uh, to make sure you have materials and then just paint study paint study paint and move on as an art as the artist all right so this is my recommendation um yes there's there is definitely a point of how to properly use each kind of brush uh, that's for sure and maybe we'll talk about this i mean we can talk if you know i promise short video but Looks like it's going to be a little longer. I can talk about you know how to use a bristle brush. I can talk about how to use soft brush and uh, what brush to use flat or filbert or angler or you know those all around. Um, so if you'd like, well, you know, let's talk about. It. We have still have time, so let's talk about this. So bristle, bristle is normally for underpainting. Some people, and again, this is not the this is it. This is the rule. You have to use bristle brush for underpainting. No, there is no rules. The main rules or the king that's setting up the rules is you. Only you. You can tell yourself, you know what, here is the, there is a constitution. <laughs> use this, all right? So you have, you're setting up the rule or regulation. So the rule for me, I'm using, if I'm using underpainting in oil, I'm using bristle brush. Or something like uh, this, which is synthetic bristle, <laughs> synthetic, <laughs> synthetic bristle. Um, but if you look at both brushes, I can tell you this uh, synthetic will give me more defined uh, strokes. Uh, this uh, natural bristle will give me less defined stroke, like a silhouette. And in my style, 
I want more of this than this. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to use this on under painting. Maybe sometimes I want that smooth, you know, strokes. I'm going to use this. So this is how you uh, do under painting. And if you want to uh, learn how to do under painting, there's, I have a one video that I have, um, and I did it, I think it's like a year ago, and I'm going to actually uh, do another one because I'm, Right now, I'm doing my underpainting in acrylic, and I want to show you how to do underpainting in acrylic. And it all, it all depends, you know, what medium you're using for underpainting and how you're using underpainting. Some people using, like I using, I'm just silhouettes, just coats behind, so I can put coats of oil on top. I want that underpainting is going through. I'm killing the white, not 100%, because I want that the luminosity of whiteboard going through to a transparent underpainting to my final coats. And that's something that we'll, we may talk later on. So your white canvas is, is very luminous. It's just pushing light through. Uh, if you kill it completely, you will have very, very flat painting. If you use a transparent uh, colors for underpainting, then you will, your, your the luminosity of the white canvas will go through your transparent colors uh, of underpainting and then go through the final coat. So your final coat will be much lighter and it's like, like more life. All right. So <laughs> I'm talking about underpainting. So this is the brushes, brushes that I use for underpainting. If I'm doing oil and transparent colors, uh, really thin layer uh, just to kill the white. So too much because if you if you paint just final coats on the, on the canvas, uh, the luminosity of like rejection of light from white will kill the chroma. So you, your painting will be looking like like dimmed. All right. So this is the brushes I use like this. I use uh, like you know I have a lot of bristle brushes like you know this for if I drawing and I need small touches on the underpainting or something of this angular. And again, the only angular I'm using not to because I, you know, some people think that I'm standing like this, and this is the angle of my brushwork. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is how you're using. So basically, you can use like this. You can twist, and you can put a line, and then you can put a filbert, and then you can put a, you know, something like a big flat filbert, and then you can put like a flat, and that's, and that's the purpose of uh, angular brushes. So some people use different ways, but this is how I'm using it, all right? So this is all filbert, and then I have, um, I mean, the, the uh, not the filbert, um, the uh, bristle. Then I have this, it's kind of filbert, but this is a more flatty filbert. I use this a lot because this will give me uh, kind of this, you know, ability to make sure it's like, if I'm using this, even if I do this, I will have this sharp, I will have the sharp edges. You know, if I do even this, uh, this will be less, less. But if I use this brush, it's not gonna give me any sharp edges. It will be basically all around and just um, undefined. So uh, I'm using, this is, uh, what is this? This is silver oval. They call it oval for some reason, uh, number 30. Uh, if you want the list of all these brushes, just let me know, go to my site and contact form and send me a request for the brushes for underpainting. I can send you all this, you know, list. And I'm actually preparing so I can copy and paste. So I'm not recreating it all the time. So this, these are, these, these are my uh, underpa um, underpainting brushes. Uh, sometimes I can use something like this. This is uh, Rosemary, and you know I love Rosemary brushes. Uh, this is Ivory. Uh, and ivory you can use as underpainting and you can use as a finished painting. Depends on the style. Then next coat will be on um, next coat uh, will be more soft. So I, I use most of the time I'm using um, something like this. This is an Eclipse soft um, brushes. I use Filbert. And again, this is the preferences of um, how you, you know, the style of painting. You can use flat. I have flats, not here, because lately I'm using only, only filberts. 
I have a lot of flats right there. Uh, I just stopped using uh, flats. I have only flats in um, in ivory, uh, like this. But I I just lately I'm using filbert, or lately I start using this round, very very soft round. Uh, you can this is great for acrylic, and this is great for oil for you know fine coats just to you know kind of build 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 like a sculpture. They are great. They loading uh, good and then releasing good. So. But they're very very soft. Uh, this is a creative mark. Qualita, uh, Qualita. I don't know how to, you know pronounce it. It's Q U A L I T A. Uh, so I like those brushes. And also uh, uh, the Blico Electric. Oh, I love this brushes. So I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to tell. So this is I think this. Uh, Jack Richardson, yes, Jack Richardson series 9118, made in India. Um, they are very soft uh, brushes. They have silver tip or end. Um, silver? No, it's not silver. It's a goldy silver kind of bronze. That's what it is. Very soft, uh, round. I actually want to try to get uh, filberts like this or fatty, more like bigger. Uh, rounds and it's for like fine coats when you're finishing it's just oh I love this brushes all right again this is your style you have to try if this works for you or it doesn't work for you uh, there is nobody can if you go like to your you know your instructor if you took workshop and this is a brush he is using it's I can tell you probably 90% it's not gonna work for you that is his hand his muscle or her muscles uh, memory muscles, uh, length of the arm, uh, you know, ability to how to hold, hold the brush. There's a lot, a lot to, to, you know, to when brush is in your hand, your grip of your you know, brush and your instructor are two different grips, two different muscles, two different gestures, two different movements. It's just <laughs> completely different. So you need to find, uh, you need to find a brush that works for you. Quality-wise, that's a different story. The quality of the brushes, yes, all the brushes that I have are really high-quality brushes. Like Rosemary, you can use them, you know, for a long time. They, and if you could take care of this, all right. The quality is something that I can recommend. So like uh, Rosemary, this Eric uh, Jack Richardson brushes, Bleak brushes, uh, silver uh, brushes, the Creative Mark. They're very creative. The only thing I had with these brushes, uh, quality-wise, um, the ferrule was taking, you know, this part was like disconnecting, um, but it cost dollar fifty. Can't beat it. Dollar fifty. I said, you know what? I was kind of like, wow, this is really cheap, and then I said, lad, duh, it is cheap, dollar <laughs> fifty. So don't complain if ferrule is, you know. Uh, losing and like disconnecting so I just took a glue dip it into you know this you know the handle and just put it back and say the done um, can beat it or something like this this is artist love which people like uh, you know people like oh, this artist love it's like Michael's come on it's cheap the expensive is not the best the cheapest brushes is not the worst okay you can find really good brushes in the worst kind of line of uh, brushes on the market. Uh, for example, I can I can one example that. Oh, where's that brush? My lovely brush. Uh, oh, actually, it's in a case. Yes, it's in case because I constantly take it with me, and this is the brush. Now, this is a set of. I just came from Basque County, got last competition this year for me, and this is what I took with me. This is this is the set of uh, brushes that I have, uh, so that I took with me. So let's let's go through this, right? This is what I'm paying with. So this is the cheapest. This is like a fifty cents, and I love it. And you know what? I cannot find it. They just discontinued it, and I just ah, you know what? If I can only find, it's a. This is a bristle, uh, bristle brush. 
Uh, but the size and the, the length of the hair and everything is like, I just love this brush, right? So this will be one. Um, another brush is, I think this is Rosemary. Um, yeah, this is a Rosemary 1 inch series 2016. But I think you can find the same brush um, in like Home Depot. No, you won't be able to because they're actually making this. It looks like it's a Home Depot or a Lotus brush, but no. This is very long, great for uh, you know styles, different styles of painting, but I you know I have it. It's a bristle again. Um, another one is as you can see I love start loving short handles uh, for plein air. This is one inch rosemary ivory angler. And I said I can use it as this, like this, twisted. So this is all my underpainting brushes, right? All three underpainting brushes. And my uh, soft brushes. Oh, I have a lot, as you can see, it's a lot. But this is how many of the brushes I, I have. Now, keep in mind, half of them are for acrylic. And this is this, <laughs> the short handle. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All my paint. Let's say ten. So it's a fifteen dollars worth of brushes. All my paintings that I did in Bass County were made by this. You know, the, these brushes. I just love them. All right. Then again, this is Jack uh, uh, Jack Richardson brush. This is number twelve, soft. I love this brush, and it just. I'm gonna probably. Oh, I think I killed this brush. I forgot to clean it. Uh, so I have to reorder it. Um, and me forgetting to clean the brush, it's like guilt for years. All right, so this, um, I have Jack, uh, Jack Richardson. I have one, two, three, four brushes. Uh, then I have a Blick. It's a small brushes uh, that's you know, Bleak or Utrecht uh, Synthetic 239 series uh, brushes. And then I have actually one soft, very soft uh, Rosemary uh, flat. Uh, it's an evergreen flat. And just one flat that I have just in case I need, like, you know, a uh, trunk of a tree. So I'm doing like this, not like this. I'm doing like this. Boom, 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 changing colors. So. And then I have a bunch of rosemary. Uh, um, what is this? I keep forgetting the name of it. Eclipse, yes, my Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse brushes, soft uh, brushes. And I have different different sizes. So this, what I have in my uh, like everyday planer uh, planer set, and one you know, palette knife, leaf palette knife. That's it. That's all I have in my in my holder right here. All right. So this is all about brushes. Sorry if I disappointed you. I didn't show you that magical brush. Uh, only because it doesn't exist. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. You need to find your magic brush. Just you are that will serve you all right so that will be all for today um if you need a list of brushes that i mentioned you want to try it not because i kind of recommend and this is you know you need, you need to get these brushes no you need to you need to find your brush same as you need to find your surface uh, surface of you know your canvases you're painting on uh, same as you have to find your medium you know what brand we're going to talk about the brand of oil or acrylic let's start with oil um, you know I want to do an up updated version of what I have because I tested so many uh, brands right now and I, I have my philosophy Sanimus philosophy on brushes uh, I um, uh, I have the same philosophy for surfaces and for mediums same philosophy a little bit different approach because on on, on oil uh, you need to know the brand and you need to actually investigate how they make the colors and their philosophy, how they make, what you know, they're making point to. Uh, and then you will select, for example, no, let's talk about the next video about oil. So I'm switching. All right, so that will be all. 
If you have any questions, go to my site. It's vladduchevart.com. Uh, click on contact form and send me a question. Uh, if you need a list or uh, you need a recommendation, please contact me. I normally reply in 24 hours if I'm not paying. All right. So that will be all. If you have any questions, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, click a like, click the bell. Um, that's important to grow our, you know, community uh, of uh, artists. And based on the poll that we did, 91% uh, huge, 91% wants to more educational stuff. I'm not going to drop like uh, plein air competitions or you know going painting outside and just demos. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna switch a little bit more to educate this, share my my knowledge, my uh, struggle with you, and maybe you can learn something something from me uh, and from our channel and from each other. All right, so don't forget to subscribe, click a like and the bell if you're new to my channel, and for my you know subscribers, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And don't forget to send me messages. And you know, I love answering them and having communication with you guys. All right, so I'll see you next time.